everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Today we're going to talk to you about this Ruger SP-101 revolver. It's one of the smaller revolvers in Ruger's lineup. It's offered in a number of different calibers. This particular one happens to be chambered in 357 Magnum, meaning it can also fire 38 Special. It comes in a matte stainless steel frame, and the cylinder is also stainless steel. It's very well constructed, very robust. First we'll start off by showing you that it is unloaded. <clears throat> so we have an unloaded re revolver here. It's a very small revolver. It fits well in your hand, but it's very comfortable to hold. It has a very nice grip. This particular grip is rubber with a plastic insert and no metal exposed on the back strap. So it's a nice padded grip and despite its small size it does handle recoil very very well. It has a transfer bar for safety show you right there. The transfer bar will come up as you pull the trigger. So it is safe to leave a chambered a live round under the hammer. And you can see right here is the transfer bar right below the firing pin. So until the trigger is pulled the hammer can't hit the firing pin. It comes from the factory with a ramp, a metal black ramp sight. This is an aftermarket high-vis fiber optic sight and you know like the, all fiber optic sights it really picks up the the light very very well and it comes with a notch sight at the back right here the sights are not adjustable on this revolver however from the factory the original sights were very accurate just a little difficult to see and the fiber optic sight has been accurate as well there's a, a well that the sight goes into that centers it there's a few features about this revolver that speak to the quality and solidity of the revolver. Number one, Ruger has what they call their triple locking. And the triple locking is the cylinder is locked in at three points. On the front of the crane, there's a little notch right here, right there, that fits into a notch in the body of the crane, right there. There is a locking pin on the back of the cylinder right here. And you'll notice that the notches right here on the cylinder are rectangular in shape rather than just a standard ramp. This locks into a pin right here. So when the gun is closed and in battery, the cylinder is locked here, locked at the back, and locked at the front. You've got very solid lockup on this which improves the accuracy, dependability, and does a better job of ensuring it stays in time and can't fire out of time. The revolver does hold five rounds, and of course it does have the ejector. So let me go ahead and show you the trigger pull, and in order to protect the hammer, I'm going to load it up with these snap caps. Now these snap caps are inert dummy rounds that are for the purpose of doing this type of thing. This does have a two and a quarter inch barrel. The length of the gun from front to back is seven and a quarter, or 7.125 inches. It's four and a half inches tall, and it's 1.35 inches thick. Of course, the thickest point being the cylinder. This is a DASA, so you can fire it either with double action or single action, your choice. So the double action pull on it is a little bit heavy, but it's very, very smooth. There's no hang up throughout the cycle, it's just a nice smooth pull up to a clean crisp break with no real change in force as you go through it, so it's very, very even. The single action pull on it is extremely light, extremely short. I'm going to actually pull my finger back because it's almost impossible to see just how short it is. That's the, that's the break, and it actually broke before it pulled and my finger pulled it back a little bit further and then of course the reset like any revolver is all the way out there's your double action again and the extremely light and crisp single action as revolvers go this is really a very nice revolver very solid very easy to acquire target and handles recoil on the range exceptionally well the 357 does have a reputation for being a very powerful very effective cartridge 
the recoil on the 357 is a little bit noticeable and you do get a bit of a fireball with the shorter barrel. But for range time you can load it up with 38 Special which is significantly less expensive and less recoil. So you have the, the ability to train, train and entertain yourself a little bit less expensively and then load it up with 357 Magnum to carry it for concealed carry. Given that, this is really targeting the concealed carry market and there's a number of holster options available for it. You can do something like an inside the waistband and there's a number of them on the market for that. Fits very flush against the body. Or you can do something like this DeSantis Nemesis pocket holster and drop it into a front pocket. It's a little bit bigger than, you know, width-wise than some of the standard semi-automatics you might carry, but not significantly so. And the weight of it is, it's only an ounce or two heavier than some of the other popular concealed carry, you know, semi-automatics. And you have the characteristics of a revolver, which some people truly like the revolver. You know, there's less complexity and it's just a much easier package to use. The grip is replaceable. So you can unscrew this, you can replace the inserts with various different inserts that are available, and you can replace the outer housing or the entire grip assembly. And one thing you'll note on it, there is a screw here that holds the grip plates in and it also holds the grip on. That screw does not bite into your hand. It's very well rounded and it ramps up to it so that when you get a hold of the, grip, the revolver, you don't feel the screw at all. You don't have it biting into your hand and when you fire it, it doesn't bite into your hand. Typical of all the Ruger revolvers, it's a very solidly built revolver. All of the junctions are well machined and everything is heavy duty. The, this revolver, along with many of the others in the Ruger line, and some of the companies that have hotter ammo, such as the Underwood, that have a list of guns which are rated to fire their hotter ammo, you'll find that the Ruger revolvers tend to consistently appear in those lists as ones that are certified to be able to handle that type of a load. So overall, you've got a lot of power in a very small, very high quality, pleasurable to use package, and it would be a good choice for somebody that wants either some range time or concealed carry. Hang on for some more range footage. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and have a great day.